supply. I disguise my power in ordinary things so that in the time of trouble, the enemy won't even know what hit him. But if you stretch for what you I want to speak to your anxiety. I want to speak to the thing that speaks to you when church is over. I want to speak to the thing that's got you up at two o'clock in the morning. I, I, I want to speak to you about the thing that you can't speak to other people about because it's too personal and it's too scary and it's too dangerous and you don't even want to talk about it, but it's chasing you around. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And one of the things he will do is steal the peace of where you are with the threat of where you've been. Fear can shut you down. Fear can immobilize you. Fear can make you run everybody away, even people who are going to help you because your perception of who's with you and who's against you can be disrupted by fear. Fear of rejection. Fear of disappointment. Fear of failure can make you not try. Use what you got. If you use what I gave you, you will find that it is more than what you thought. <laughs> you thought I gave you this stick so when you got tired you could lean on it. But there are tricks in your stick. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I disguise my power in ordinary things so that in the time of trouble, the enemy won't even know what hit him. But if you stretch for what you almost every miracle in the Bible came out of something that they already had. A handful of meal. A pot of oil, two fish and five loaves of bread, a rag and a rock.